Be prudent. Understand the value of correction and receive it. Proverbs 15 verse 5. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he who receives correction is prudent. Proverbs 10 verse 17. He who keeps instruction is in the way of life, but he who refuses correction goes astray. This week, as we talk about prudence and what it means to be prudent, one of the characteristics of a person who is prudent, Proverbs brings out to us here, is that he or she has the ability to receive correction. He who receives correction is prudent, but a person who uh, despises correction goes astray, loses his way. So one characteristic, an important characteristic of a person who's prudent is that he's willing to be corrected. He's willing to receive correction. That means we maintain a teachable spirit. We know that we don't have everything right. We know that there could be areas where we are wrong, where we need to improve, where we need to change, where we need to uh, make certain things right. And so we are willing to receive correction. That is a prudent person, Proverbs says. And so regardless of who speaks into our lives, there are times when our superiors, those above us, will speak into our lives. There are times when there are our peers who will be able to speak into our lives and bring correction. And there are times when there are those reporting to us, those below us, younger to us, who can also speak into our lives and give us correction. So we value correction because of what it does for us, not necessarily from whom it comes to us. You know, sometimes we don't like people who are our peers, or we don't like people who are uh, below us in terms of uh, uh, rank or order or age. Uh, we don't like it when they bring correction into our lives. But we must understand that correction if it's changing us for the better, has tremendous value. And so regardless of how that correction is bring, brought to us or from whom that correction is brought to us, a prudent person receives correction. Consider what Proverbs says to someone who does not receive correction. Proverbs 12 verse 1 says, Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. Proverbs 13 verse 18, Poverty and shame will come to him who disdains correction, but he who regards a rebuke will be honored. Proverbs 15 10, Harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way, and he who hates correction will die. In other words, the Bible is telling us that if we refuse correction, it's to our own detriment. We can go astray. It can be very destructive to us. It can lead us into wrong choices, into foolishness. And so a prudent person is always willing to receive correction that will make him or her a better individual. That's prudent. That's being prudent. That's prudence. Let's learn to receive correction. Let's pray. Father, we ask for the grace that we will help us, that will help us be teachable, that will help us receive correction graciously, knowing that it's helping us become better people and it's helping us become prudent in life. Give us teachable hearts, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.